Hey, Dave Ferrari here. Welcome to this series of videos about using the Scenic Express Scenery products. Today I'm going to show you some of the products that Scenic Express offers and how best to use them. So let's get started. I should talk about building landforms on your model railroad. And the key ingredient for building landforms is plaster wrap or plaster splints. This is the wrap that comes in a roll. The box of splints is equal to six rolls in coverage. So plaster wrap, what is it? Well, it's a gauze that has plaster impregnated on it. It's baked on the surface. And when you wet this, it activates the plaster. You have about 10 or 12 minutes of working time. And then you lay this over any kind of a suspended web, whether it be cardboard strips, chicken wire, or even shaped styrofoam, any kind of a base. You put the plaster wrap over the web and let it set. The less you handle it, the better off you are. You can take your fingers and smooth the edges together so it'll stick together. So when it dries, when it sets, it forms an eggshell. One of the precautionary things you should know about plaster wrap is by itself, it's not real strong. So if you put it on the edge of your railroad where people will be leaning with their arms or putting their weight on, you may want to put two or three layers of plaster wrap. And the two or three layers will make it strong enough so it will withstand any kind of unusual pressure or unusual stress. Now one of the things I should mention, and all of this by the way, are in my two DVDs, Rocks and Basic Scenery Made Easy and Building Landforms Parts 1 and 2. Both of these are available from Dave Ferry at MRScenery.com or from Scenic Express. The videos explain a lot more about the landform building process using plaster wrap than I've explained to you here. So if you need further education on using plaster wrap or just building a multitude of things with them, then check out the DVDs. One of the last things I should state with any kind of a plaster product like this is that when you go to put scenery over it, you should have a spray bottle with a little bit of wet water in it, and you should spray this to dampen it. You don't want the plaster absorbing the water out of the new scenery. So pre-wet this before you add scenery over it. One of the things I want to talk about before we go away is I want to talk about the plaster splint material, and I want to show it to you first and show you just how big the pieces are. Here's a piece that's 30 inches long and 5 inches wide and it allows you to build scenery at a rapid clip. You can really move fast with this stuff because it covers a lot of area. So if you've got a big area to build, this is the way to buy plaster wrap in the plaster splint box. One other thing I should mention, if you, when you get all done with your landforms and you don't like them, this is a hobby knife. You can cut it away do it again, and all you've wasted is a little bit of your time and a few pennies of your scenery budget. So don't be afraid if you've built something you don't like it, don't be afraid to change it because using plaster wrap makes it very, very easy to change things. One of the questions that everyone always asks about plaster wrap is, why can't I just use plaster with paper towels? Well, you can. The advantage of plaster wrap is that it's a gauze base and it's impregnated with plaster. And when you wet this, and put it on your scenery and then it dries. It's got a tremendous amount of tooth, a surface texture that allows you to put any kind of scenery material over it and it'll hold it in place forever. So that's the advantage of plaster wrap, plus it's fast. It's a lot faster than mixing plaster, dipping the paper towels in plaster, letting them drain, laying them in place and so on. This you just cut the piece you need, run it through some water and lay it in place and that's all you need to do. The scenery products presented in this video are all available from Scenic Express at www.scenicexpress.com.